David Jansen was born David Harold Meyer in 1931 in Nipponi, Nebraska, to Bernice May, Graf, and Harold Edward Meyer, a banker. He was of German, and some Swiss German and Scottish Irish, descent. David took the surname of his stepfather, Eugene Jansen. The Jansen family settled in Hollywood when he was a teenager and he attended Fairfax High School, where he developed an interest in acting. His film debut was a bit part in It's a Pleasure, 1945, and at the age of 18 signed a contract with 20th Century Fox. However, the studio dropped him after allegedly becoming disenchanted with his odd hairline and big prominent ears. Jansen had better luck at Universal, where he signed on in the early 1950s and became a supporting player in 32 films before appearing on TV as the star of Richard Diamond, Private Detective, 1957. He resumed his movie career in 1961, a year after the series ended. His biggest success came from his lead in the series The Fugitive, 1963, playing the haunted, hunted Dr. Richard Kimball, on the run for a murder he didn't commit. After the series ended, Jansen launched himself into a grueling schedule by appearing in lead and supporting roles in movies, but he had better luck with made-for-TV movie roles in a short-lived series, O'Hara, U.S. Treasury, 1971. He had another hit series with the cult favorite Harry O. 1973. Jansen continued appearing in lead roles in nearly 20 made-for-TV movies during the 1970s as well as other TV projects. He died in 1980 from a sudden heart attack at his Malibu home at the age of 48. Unfounded speculation holds that Jansen succumbed to alcoholism, a problem that plagued him most of his adult life. There were even unfounded rumors about drug use. However, a much more reasonable explanation for David Jansen's sudden demise is that this intense, dedicated, determined actor simply worked himself to death.